Welcome back to the channel, and we are here for another episode of the East Carolina Pirates Road to Glory. You see here, we are number 16 after falling victim to one of the many upsets we've been a innocent bystander on. But, as we see here, we finally got the bug, and we have been upset. It was a frustrating loss, man. It really was the drama to come back, to be just a two-point conversion away. It is frustrating. We'll take a peek at the Heisman voting as we have Keelan Robinson moving up to number one and DeCarlos Brooks, the number two. Raji Harris falling to number three following the loss. And that may just be enough to keep him out. We would need Texas to lose, and we would need Cal to lose. And where's Cal? They are up to number 16. And they have Arizona State, and Texas has a bye. So, that's frustrating. It is. It truly is. But we'll hop into the game. Can't dwell on it for forever. And we will go with the yellow pants because we are repping the yellow East Carolina shirt. Yes, I've been wearing it for a couple of episodes. It has not been over a couple days. I promise. I've just been sitting here recording episodes after episodes because I will say MLB The Show 22 is coming out on April 5th and we will be streaming that on twitch.tv slash Earl the Turtle. Come check it out. As we have rain in Florida. Who would have guessed? But yeah, we will be streaming MLB The Show 22 starting April 4th, which it will be technically April 5th at midnight. So April 5th, earliest morning. And we will call Tails. Tails it is. And we will defer. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to do a franchise That's mode in MLB The Show or if we don't actually take our gameplay online and play what would be kind of called like an ultimate team where you get cards from packs and you collect cards to um, complete collections and with those collections you gain rewards whether it be um, a legend player whether it be um, stadiums whether it be uniforms and nelson will have a good tackle on peterson jr no game so yeah or you know maybe we do a rebuild do you really call it a rebuild maybe we could look to do a rebuild with the miami marlins um we could do i mean i wouldn't call the cubs a rebuild even though they did fire sale all their good players. So, I don't know. Well, let me know in the comments if you'd be more interested in a online-based or if we just keep true with our franchise. As Laney will make the tackle on Peterson Jr. after a 15-yard reception. I haven't done a franchise on a baseball game since MLB what was it called I think it was just MVP baseball yeah, MVP baseball 04 oh I thought we baited him into that McKnight okay Woo. that will be an incomplete pass I didn't get the animation I was gonna go for the pick story of my life no animations on this game but yeah, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. It'll probably already be... No, 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 no. Okay, Peterson will lose three yards on the carry. Um, I think we'll already be well into the streaming of it. But it would be interesting to have your opinion. I'm mass recording these because we are going to be doing that um, on Twitch. Looks like some type of a screen, and Grayson will be brought down by Hargrove. I almost said Pierce. 
He's 29, not 28. And that will set up fourth and 24. Defense coming out with something to show for after their embarrassing loss. I mean, it's just an embarrassing loss altogether as a whole team. And not a good block, but we will break a tackle. East out here breaking tackles. Can't make anything of it. Good effort, though. Unfortunate that nothing came of it. But, yeah. I'm excited to be playing something different. Harris up the middle. Harris got a good block, and he'll get 10 yards. Be just short of the first. I'll mark it as second and inches. But yeah, I am, I'm very excited to play a new game. Not that I don't enjoy playing the East Carolina Pirates Road to Glory or the newly Jacksonville Jaguars Road to Glory. But it would be nice to get a little change of scenery. And not that I'm taking a break from this, but we are mass recording. So we will be still coming out with content every day, but we will be more focused on MLB The Show. Good blocks. And Johnson not able to make anything happen. He will get two yards on the read option. Let's do the angle here with Harris. We'll send Stone right under. I like it to Stone. Oh my god, it's tipped. Oh my god. Oh, that was almost bad. That was almost bad. Can't exactly see what Stone's doing. And we'll get him anyways. Over the middle, Stone, 11-yard gain. I didn't know if he was going to cut at any point in that route. I was very nervous throwing that ball. <laughs> Guess I need to pay a little bit more attention of the routes. Um, in the playbook and Harris will be brought down in the backfield for a loss of one Potts will be credited with the TFL a little read option here Harris 3 for 14 and this FIU defense is all over the run they, I suppose, knew we were going to be running the ball almost exclusively, and they are shutting it down. Stop over here. I'm going to take it. Hopkins over the middle will be just shy. Hmm. I really tried to lead him up the field. We'll go 45 quick base. And hope that the, okay, apparently not. We're going to audible out. Not that I don't trust him, but. And. Oh, my God. The, the drops are killing me. Absolutely killing me. It's five-star Lenny Stone. Wide open, drops the freaking ball. I mean. This is ridiculous. That's a screen here. Nelson going to have to get out there. And we over-pursue with McKnight. And Roland will eventually bring down Jefferson after 37 yards. Oh, boys. Going back and forth between NCAA and Madden. You do realize, nice play. Is that Hickman? Heldman. Um, going back and forth between NCAA and Madden, you really start to understand while this game is good, it does have its issues. We're going to get uh, Grayson. will get the ball away. Russ on the pressure. Like, Madden kind of has, I don't want to say, like, assistance. But if you dive toward the player with the ball, 
You will get the assistance. This? It's like no assistance. You have to make the tackle yourself. You over pursue. Doesn't matter. You undercut it. Doesn't matter. Whereas Madden kind of gives you a little bit of a help. Even on all Madden, it doesn't take it away, which is interesting. Kick is up and we'll just squeak in. Um, it, uh, it's definitely, Madden's a little easier. That's why we've messed with the sliders and we've cut the sliders here at 50, 50. Um, this game, definitely a little harder. East will fight for a 24 yard return. And going back and forth definitely has showed me that because I haven't played Madden since probably Christmas, if I had to guess. We're going to throw that away. I, I know we had a couple open receivers. I didn't like the way we were sitting. But we will look to our powerful read option play here. And Calhoun gets into Harris's way. Harris will still fight for nine, though. And that's the thing we are going to miss most about Harris. When he gets trapped behind the line, it's not always a goner. Like, that play is not always chalked up to nothing. It's a strong safety is going to come down. We're going to have to beat this. We're getting right back up. We're going right up to this. Harris is going to have a lot of space, and he'll get a good gain of 12 yards on the play. Um, Harris, while he's not the electric home run running back you want most running backs to be, he can be stopped in the back with the corner here. Johnson absolutely decleated. Oh, my God. That corner said, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But, yeah, like, so like I was saying with uh, Harris, he has the ability to make something and a good big something out of nothing. You'll see right here, Harris will pick up the first on forward progress. Just kidding, no he won't. He'll be just shy of the marker. So we'll give it to him again. Good block by Wise. Wise going to the second level. Oh my goodness. Please be personal foul personal face foul. mask. Face mask. Nice. Defense. We'll take that. Extra 15 yards. Thank you, ref. Thank you. Harris going to break a tackle and another and be pushed out of bounds after a 10-yard gain. Markham just inches shy. Yeah, I thought he'd be out on this play. Good cut by Johnson, and he'll be down at the 5-yard line. 4-yard gain. Harris back. Is he back? One play. Nope, he's not. He'll be back for sure after the first quarter with your Pirates trailing 3 0 over Florida Atlantic. Or, sorry, 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 sorry. That was last week. FIU. <laughs> oh, I just can't get out of that game. Harris is back on the field. Harris will fight forward and get a touchdown. Penning the extra point. It will take a 7-3 lead over FIU. John Lewis congratulating his favorite player. Dare we say, not that coaches are supposed to have favorites. But it might be safe to say he might be the favorite. And we 
will give them a cover two look. We'll pinch the middle. And Nelson, that was a tough little user play right there. May not have looked that difficult, but let me tell you it was. We will have fair weather. Oh, we'll have the running back, just kidding. Good tackle by Ware in open space. Peterson Jr. will lose a yard. Good way to shed that block there. Coming out in shotgun. Big tackle by McKnight, but not before Peterson Jr. will get 12 yards. Nelson is just not a good user. He's not. He's... I don't know what the change of direction stat is in this. Oh, I thought we had that one. Steffens will make the tackle, though. PA guy will call it Stevens, so we'll go with Stevens. Yeah, Nelson is just, he can, when he goes one way, to get him to go another way is a tall order. And Jefferson will have a 12 yard reception. I know with the free safety zone blitz here. And it looks like McKnight is going to have a sack. Grayson James is going to go down for an eight-yard loss. McKnight walked in unblocked. We'll go with the overload blitz here. We're going to have Peterson on the play action. Frederick. Gonna have to work to bring down Fairweather. You been screaming, CC? Hmm. I guess I couldn't hear with the game volume, but it sounds like we had a little kitty that wanted to come on in and hang out with Daddy. It's gonna be a halfback draw. We get there with Laney. Laney will secure. Peterson Jr. for a five-yard gain. And that just right there, if you look, um, just on that play, Nelson just, I turned one way, and then it was just like, trying to turn around a Mack truck or an old Cadillac in a cul-de-sac. It just doesn't happen. Give me the animation game, please. That's a pick six. Oh. This game tries me. This game tries me. Looking for the quarterback draw here. I'm going to do something bold. I'm going to commit to it. And Pierce. No, Nelson. Will make the stop. And what do they do here? They are going to line up to go for it. So we are going to match them. We are going to go. Um, I know they like to run. So we will come out in... The 5-2. Okay, no, we won't. Just kidding. And this is. No, it's four. Not able to stop him. Grayson will get four yards on the option. Too slow, man. I'm sitting here looking for the freaking play. Don't you do it. He's down. Grayson will be credited with a yard. That brings him second and goal. Stop your We're gonna commit run middle here. 
and they're going to go the option. And had I not committed to a run middle, we might have kept the contain there. But we didn't. So that's always good. And FIU will take a 10-7 lead over your Pirates. And I've already forgotten. Do we get the ball back at halftime or no? Good block by East. And Stone will get it to about the 26-yard line. Georgia Tech is number four. And I know there was rumor of East Carolina transferring into the ACC conference. That conference looks a little loaded. And Harris will fight through and he'll get eight yards on the carry. That could be a very tough conference for us to play in. But we would get a little bit more recruiting as we get a good prestige bonus for being in the ACC conference. But the ACC does have to meet and discuss it. It's not a guarantee. As much as I wish it was, it will be put to a vote and we will see if the bid is accepted. And Harris will shed a tackle. Harris stumbling, falling forward. He'll gain seven. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Harris brings to the table. He brings that. And by that, I mean that ball, that play looked absolutely just nothing. It looked, we'll be honest, it looked like it was going to be a loss. But Harris finds a way to get seven yards on the play. Good blocks. Johnson going to lower the shoulder. He'll get 12 yards on the read option. Are we on conservative or not? Okay. I mean, that's why. Okay. I was like, why does this game seem like it's taking so much longer? We're 22 minutes into the recording, and we're not even done with the second half. Good block by Wise. Not really. Kind of made me go to the right. So we're going to have to go to air. Go to the air come out running these slants I do like stone on this and we will get a portion of it back as stone will get a 10 yard reception that'll set up third and three and we'll put it back into the hands of our Heisman hopeful Raji Harris Harris is going to find plenty of space and he'll have an eight yard gain. There is talk of Harris being looked at in the draft. And I know some of you would like to see Harris in the Jaguars road to glory. We're going to trust it. Not a good throw on the run by Johnson. We had him. Calhoun was open. Probably should have just set the feet. But we have to see what we have with Johnson here. Oh, just lay out for it. And we just chewed up all of the clock, not even paying attention. Good catch. Harris will break a tackle. Harris will fight forward. And he'll get a 16-yard reception there. Come on. Up to the line. Up to the line. We're going to run with this one. Johnson going to fight forward. We're going to call a timeout. Get everything resituated. I know he ran out of bounds, but I want to take our time, get the right personnel out on the field. And Harris 
will get into the end zone. One yard gain for Raji Harris. He'll add another touchdown. And Tyson's kick is up and good. And your Pirates will take a 14-10 lead with 10 seconds remaining in the half. And Perez will kick this one deep. And Joseph will take a knee as the kickoff team was about at the 20 yard line when he made the catch. All right, so don't get beat deep. We're just gonna come out in kind of a prevent. And it looks like McKnight will make the tackle. And FIU content to let this one go into halftime with the Pirates leading 14 to 10. Louisville winning over USF, Cincinnati beating Charlotte, Kansas State beating Texas Tech. Oh, we get the ball. Okay. That's a pleasant surprise. I've already forgotten that. We bring it out. Screw it. We're bringing it out. East is going to have a lane. East is going to fight forward. And we got a nice animation there as he was hit but just falling forward. And he got 35 yards on the return. And Harris will be brought down before he can get back. Well, no, I guess he will be back at the line of scrimmage. They called him at the line of scrimmage. I think he lost yards on that play, but listen, am I going to argue it when it doesn't work for me? No. I'll get mad if it doesn't. We've got the blitzing linebacker here. We're going to go throw it. Oh, my goodness. The late throw almost killed us. Again, my controller, RB button, not so great. You can hear it rattling around. We need to get that taken care of. I might look to get it taken care of this week, but I don't know if we have a backup controller. And Johnson is going to be running into Overstreet, the left tackle. He's going to lose a yard on the read option. Harris gonna get about five. I'll set up third and five. This is important to score on this drive. Makes it a two possession game and gives us some breathing room. Free safety is cheating down a little bit. And that's plenty of run room for me to run with Johnson and we'll slide after Johnson will get about eight yards. Call it 10. And give the ball back to Harris here. Harris getting up to speed and he'll get about 15. Call it 16. Good run by Harris. We have to, we also want to take as much of this quarter as we can. Looks like we have man coverage, potentially a blitz with the linebackers, and it is just that. We're going to take, oh no, oh my god, oh god, this guy can't catch. We'll blame it on the rain. That should have been a pick for sure. We got bailed out there. Bailed out in a big way. We'll give the ball to Harris. Harris is going to have the blocks. Harris, good individual effort. Oh, that's going to be clipping. I just know it. Oh, wow. Holding. The rare holding. The rare holding call on Overstreet. Still second. Oh, back us up to second and 18. John Lewis not happy about it. And can you blame him? We need a touchdown on this drive. And we are shooting ourselves in the foot. I mean, we did get bailed out in the pick department. It's a good. The open. 
I mean, I wouldn't say he was super open, but the catchable balls that we drop grind my freaking gears. It's going to be a throw to Stone. He does make the catch. 26 yards. Oh, man. Blame it on the weather, I suppose. They drop an easy pick. We drop an easy first down, but we do convert on third and long. A 26 yard reception. Harris, a nice little cut. And he'll be brought down by the safety hill. Oh, man, 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 man. Okay. It looks like a cover two look. And that's exactly what it is. And Harris will walk in for the touchdown. Tack on three touchdowns today for the Heisman hopeful. Tyson's kick is up and good. Studio update. Show us something good. LSU being upset by Bama. But when you say Bama upsetting someone, doesn't that just sound a little bit weird? Yeah, well, I said it. Alabama upsets number 18 LSU. 35-32, I believe the score was. So number eight, Utah falling victim again as they lose to Oregon on the bottom of the screen with the ESPN updates. They come out in the 3-4 with a QB spy. They're gonna come out shotgun. Mason not able to bring him down. Russ will finally bring Jefferson down after a 15 yard reception. We'll bring the nickel blitz here. I might. It's going to be a great tackle. Who got it first? Stevens. Chad Stevens. Two tackles and a TFL now. We'll bring out the QB spy. Cover two sink. McKnight finally able to make the tackle. Russ just didn't have the speed to catch Underwood. Cover two sink again with the QB spy. Sit right at the marker, boys. Sit right at the marker. He's going to not be able to catch it and turn up field, and that will set up fourth and three, and FIU will punt. And East will let this one ride out of the back of the end zone. We're fortunate enough to get that. And we will go halfback dive. Petting the kitty down here. I could come on. Harris, good run, good cut. Harris will get 12. We're going to let the kitty out. One second. All right. Probably won't edit that out. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe you get to see all of the shirt in its glory. This looks like to be a cover three. We're going to commit and run. I don't think that was a blitz. Take all the time we can, boys. Take all the time we can. I'm going to send Wise in motion. He'll be the lead blocker here. Good block. Harris doesn't have the speed to break it to the second level, but he'll get four. That'll set up third and three, and looks like Harris is down with an injury. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, he is. I have Wise and what was the backup running back, Mitchell? Oh, throw the ball. Stupid controller. We're going to have to take 
We're gonna have to take that into consideration. Not even, not even consider it. We need to do that. We really do. Bruise ribs. He'll be out for the quarter. Hopefully, that is the quarter because he was injured in the third quarter. We'll sub in Bobby Wise. But he will have a full defensive series. Hargrove getting shoved around. Boone will make the tackle. Joseph, 18 yards on the return. Gonna bring middle linebacker crossfire here. McKnight will make the tackle. Ran right around the blitz. We had the stunt blitz from the middle linebackers. And apparently whoever else was blitzing with me didn't follow their gap. Oh no! Hargrove drops an interception. Now we've dropped one, or they've dropped one, now we've dropped one. We're going to blame that all on the rain. They're going to close down. It looks like Pierce will make the stop after Chambers gets a one-yard reception. I'm going to bring the free safety blitz here as McKnight is really good in the blitzing role. And they'll throw right to the blitz, but Therese Chambers will be out of bounds. Six yards, that'll bring up fourth and three. And yeah, as I would have thought, they have to go for this. I'm gonna be honest though, it's very fortunate for us that they're not running the ball. They're down. And I don't know why they feel like they have to run. I'm gonna call timeout. I don't like this defense. Just barely got the timeout off. Gonna go cover two here. And that's right over the middle. He drops it. Oh my god, the rain playing a huge factor in this game. Wow, so many drops. So many drops. And that is not considered the quarter. For Harris. Good throw. Good catch by Lacey. Do we risk it? Do we risk bringing him back in? Oh, he is back in. Okay, nice. Good. Harris, a good cut. Harris is going to get the edge. Harris is going to break forward. He'll have 16 on the play. A good little cut right here and right there to round out the DB. So he was caught flat-footed. And Harris will get four yards on the carry. 164 yards on the game. Three touchdowns. That's a Heisman looking game, if you ask me. Hopefully, we bump him back up. Good run by Harris. Br Harris is going to break a tackle. He'll have 10 yards. The workhorse still in the game. He's going to have a nice hole. He's going to round out the DB. Harris to the five. Fights! Touchdown! Let's go, Harris. 32-yard run from the Heisman hopeful. And that will put the nail in the coffin in this game, and your Pirates will not fall victim to another upset. I know it's a little maybe premature, but 18 points 
in four minutes and 45 seconds seems like the impossible so I'm I'm counting my chickens before they hatch I know I know not smart it's not I know but after last week we needed this and McKnight unable to make a play on the ball Therese Chambers with a 21 yard reception and a nice post route right there we'll cover two we might cheat a little bit higher yeah we'll cheat right here come down oh I thought I had it didn't matter though we didn't get the animation of us catching the ball anyway we'll go cover two sink here have Russ as the spy oh we're screwed here we went with the further receiver let him have the check down it looks like Heldman Put some pressure on Grayson. We're gonna bring the pressure. Roland makes a good open field tackle. Jefferson will have a good seven yard completion and it'll be good for a FIU first down. Back out of that blitz. And Chambers, nice catch on the sideline. Maybe we commit to the passing now. We just full on commit pass. It doesn't seem that they're too interested in running the football. They'll take away the flat. Oh, give me the animation! It's in his lap. Dial up a little pressure, try and make Grayson James a little uncomfortable here. We are going to commit pass. Oh, nice. Where will help Pierce finish out the tackle? Peterson going to get a gain of four yards. They will switch to the hurry up. We will go free safety blitz here. Give me the animation. Oh, this game really trying my patience without giving me the animations. Oh boy, this is for the game. We're gonna go pass if they run it on us. Good on them. And he drops it. This game has been filled with drops and I'm blaming it on the weather. The rain helping no one. And Stone will get some garbage time yards to add to his Heisman hopeful ballot as he'll get 11 yards on that game. 29 rushes for 218 yards, averaging seven and a half a carry with, I think that said five touchdowns. Well, no, that can't say five touchdowns because that doesn't make sense. Now does it? Harris will get a yard. It's had four touchdowns. Seven times four is 28. Kids stay in school, as they say. But, Turtle, aren't you in school? I sure am, but I'm already done with my math. So, you could say I forgot about it. Harris, good run. Fighting forward. He'll get 21 on the carry. 31 rushes for 240 yards. This guy can't be stopped. Good blocking, and he'll be brought down for a gain of three. He's still staying in. He wants the ball. Good shed. There's the other 2% where the trap play doesn't work. Tight, tight. 
Harris wants those two yards back. And we'll look to get him. And he'll be hit. And he'll get exactly those two yards back. And that will be the ball game. As your Pirates win 28 to 10. Whew, boy. That that was that was a game. That it was. That was a game. Black screen. Do not be the black screen of death. It wasn't. Okay, good. And we will advance the next week. We will see what happens with <clears throat> the recruiting when we sim the next week. But a good bounce back win as next week we face off against UAB. Now, I think... I may have made a oopsie. It, it's not that bad. Hopefully we don't lose out anything on it. But I think there were recruits ready to visit. If I'm thinking back on next on the last episode, I think there was recruits ready to visit. And I don't know what just jogged my memory there. <clears throat> but, that's, yeah. Luckily that was an away game, and I saw that UAB was home, and I was like, oh, well, we haven't had any... Uh, recruits ready and we do have a lot ready to visit maybe that was because of last week and Harris will pick up player of the week let's go ahead and address these ready for a visit that's rough there we go one for UAB another for UAB another for UAB and another, and another, and another. Okay, so a lot of prospects coming to visit during the UAB game. Now we do have a coach upgrade. So what do we do? I think, hmm. I think we get royal treatment um i don't really know if there's much of a chance of us getting anyone from the off season so we'll leave that one but they we do have a lot of people coming to uh to visit we really need to capitalize on that so that's where i'm going to leave the skill point and we do have some extra points available Take a peek at the defensive end. And one more. Oh, man. I think we'll throw the defensive end on. to pull out on some of these guys it's gonna be a minus one so we've already done him just doesn't look that good honestly mm, 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 mm. he doesn't look good either I mean we don't need another receiver. I guess we put points into Maurice. Maybe. DT is not going to be it. Or you know what? We'll just go with the center. And we will shore up. shore up Justin Brooks and I believe that's the quarterback here no? one of them's the quarterback is this one the quarterback okay this is the one they're calling the quarterback but he has 80 catching as well so we'll see how that turns out 
And that will be it for the episode. If you made it this far, thank you so much for the support. It means the world to me. And a like, comment, subscribe to help us beat the YouTube algorithm. And that'll be it for us. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.